So, I'm Phil Lama and this is World Box. It's pretty clear what I want to do. I want to test out which country in South America is the strongest. I mean, we have already a big contender with Brazil, with 1,300 people. But uh, maybe the maybe the underdogs will will fight each other and do something about it. I'm curious to see if they can actually defeat Brazil like this. I don't want to I don't want to move anything. I don't want to change anything. I just want to see how it plays out. Because usually what I would do is just balance out the populations. But would that be fair? I mean, Brazil is massive in real life, so maybe they deserve the amount of people. So I'm not sure who I'm gonna root for. Not Argentina, because they're sus. Um, I actually want them to lose. I think I'm going. Go I'm gonna go with Uruguay because they, they are definitely the underdogs. They, they they have no chance. So I wonder what will happen because 72 people. They they would be. Comp they're probably the weakest one. Yeah, they're the weakest country here. Even Paraguay has 135. Uruguay has 72. It's terrible. What the fuck are you guys doing? Just have more fun. Just uh, have more babies, please. I, I also don't want Brazil to win. I mean, I like Brazil, but they're they're the big ones. I mean, a thousand people. That will be too obvious. I don't want it to be obvious. So I guess Guiana just conquered the French Guiana before the video. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. Venezuela wants to take Guiana. I wonder how that will play out. Um. Colombia is very similar to to Peru in terms of population. That would be fun as well. And Ecuador is just in the middle. That's not good for them. Chile 400, Argentina 600. So I think Uruguay has absolutely no chance because they're in the middle of the strongest countries. Look look at Argentina already ready to to go on Brazil. Look at them already doing the war dance. Bolivia and Peru is also very similar. So I think the ones that are worst off are Uruguay and Paraguay. Like, they have no chance. Oh, okay, Ecuador declared war on Colombia. They already have 47 people, so this is gonna be fast. <laughs> Why would they do that? So, yeah, they're gonna be destroyed. There is no chance for them at all. 17 people. Colombia is massive. Yeah, they conquered them. No chance. So Colombia is now as big as Peru, probably, and about the same population. Oh, there, there's wars being declared. So Argentina declared war on Paraguay, and Brazil declared war on Bolivia. And Bolivia is already getting destroyed. Like, look at this. Like, they, they have absolutely no chance. Look, 17, 13, no chance. And Paraguay is still hanging on. Okay, Bolivia is gone. Look at this, so many people and Paraguay 18 people well Argentina and Brazil they, they, they just went mental against them so we already lost three kingdoms and the, the video just started it was fast Uruguay is still here thankfully they, they will hang on they, they, they're strong like that but oh, they already have cars and shit look at this oh should I give tanks to, to Uruguay I think they deserve it otherwise they have no chance I'll give tanks to Uruguay take three tanks Yes, this is good. Maybe another one. Yes. U Uruguay now has a chance with four tanks. This is good. I don't think anyone else has tanks, actually. Never mind, Brazil does have tanks. They have loads, actually. They have more than Uruguay already. It just started. Whoa, Colombia has like six tanks. Guyana has three or four, actually. Argentina doesn't seem to have tanks. Yeah, Argentina doesn't have tanks. Needed is Chile. Oh, there's an alliance. So, wait, wait, wait. Who's in the alliance? Let's see. There's two alliances. So, Eggs of Great is Uruguay and Argentina. And Eternal League. Guyana, Venezuela. Whoa, this would never happen. Uh, and Colombia. Okay, so these three are actually in an alliance. This is good. So, maybe they will fight Brazil like this. Although, most likely they will fight Peru. Argentina and Uruguay. What does, what does Argentina benefit from this? Is it the tanks? Yeah, I suppose so. You don't have you don't have tanks. You need the, you need you need Uruguay's tanks. Makes perfect sense now. Yeah, like I was predicting, Colombia declared war on Peru, so that means that these three are fighting Peru. Peru will have no chance. They don't have tanks. Colombia does. Look at the look at these. 
Look at these boys, they're, they're strong as fuck. Peru is already getting torched. I'm not sure if they have guns, to be honest. They have bows, for some reason. Yeah. Look, oh, so many people coming from Guyana. Peru has no chance, this is bad for them. This is really bad. Look at this, everyone's joining in. <laughs> Poor Peru, they're being gangbanged. Yeah, like the whole... The whole area of Peru is under fire at the moment. Where are these from? Venezuela. And these ones... From Brazil. Brazil is fighting them as well. Oh, Brazil declared war on Argentina. So the big boys are, are fighting now. Oh, Argentina is, is in trouble because they don't have tanks, I think. I think these tanks are Uruguay's and... Oh, they're gone! Eight people! So Uruguay is losing Argentina's war. This is not good. I can't believe... Out of, out of everyone, you lose for Argentina? Oh, I can't believe Brazil is just gonna win. <laughs> they have way too much population. I mean, it was kind of obvious, to be honest. But at the same time, Colombia is becoming a powerhouse. They're massive now. Argentina is hanging on, though. Look at this. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, to be honest. And Uruguay with five people. They're probably just children. Okay, oh, Brazil's tanks are coming in now, so yeah, I think Argentina is gone. They don't have tanks still. And Colombia, how much population? So, almost 200. So if these three join together against against Brazil, maybe there's a chance. But they should have done it sooner. I think they also need Chile's help at, as well, because... And to be honest, I think this would happen in real life. I think Brazil would just stomp everyone. Oh, Uruguay... Look at this child. Well, he's not a child, he's a hundred years old. He's on fire. Yeah. Oh, they're being bombarded by tanks now. Uruguay was destroyed. Oh, look. Brazil conquered Argentina. Yeah, Brazil is massive now. A thousand nine hundred people. Well, Argentina still has this little horn. But, yeah, no chance. The alliance of eggs was, was dissolved. So that means that Colombia may actually attack Venezuela. But at the same time... Well, actually, Venezuela Venezuela doesn't have that many. Even though they have more population, they don't have tanks. And the tanks, we all know that the tanks is what matters here. L look at the damage it does. 1,033. Each tank can basically one-shot everyone. How much do the Humvees have? Let's see. Wait, these ones have more health than the tanks? 300? But at the same time, they do no damage. Wait, I think... Is this normal? The tanks only have 200 health? That's not normal, right? I don't think so. Shouldn't be. 200 health. That's lower than... than orcs, no? How much do orcs have? 170. So, orcs have almost as much health as tanks? Hmm. Maybe it's a bug. I'm not sure. Yeah, Argentina is gone. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna count with them anymore. 24 people. Well, they're the new... They're the new uh, uh, Uruguay, but... Um, except more racist. <laughs> Yeah, 2,011 people from Brazil. No chance. I'm gonna fast forward because I think... I think this is pretty much over now. Unless Colombia pulls a fast one. They need to conquer Venezuela or Chile needs to do something. Because they're, they're the highest population one. But at the same time, Colombia has the tanks. No one else does, uh, I think. Venezuela has the little Humvees. Guyana has a few tanks, but... Not that much. Come on, Colombia. You can do it. You can do something. Argentina is still, is still alive. What the fuck? 46 people. And Brazil is focusing everything on them. Argentina? What the fuck? Okay, they're gone. 10, 8, 6. Yeah, Brazil even dropped tanks on the island. Jeez. Oh, Colombia declared war on Chile. Colombia will pretty much have all the border with Brazil if they conquer Chile. Oh, look at this amount of people. Look at this army. Oh, ho, 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 so many tanks, they have no chance. They're coming in here with bows. I mean, it looks good, but look at that. Look at that firepower. No chance. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow, Chile is just being stomped. So they have 500 people, but their army cannot do anything. Each tank shot can just one-shot everyone. Who's the green one? Guyana. So, they're still in an alliance. Oh, never mind. They are in an alliance. 
So that means the alliance that was dissolved was Argentina and Uruguay. Of course it was. So they do have a chance. Maybe they can defeat Brazil because 200? Yeah, no, no chance. <laughs> well, they are working really well together though. Look at this. Like synchronized tanks and MVs and pretty solid alliance. I'm disappointed that Chile didn't join them. Would have been a good strategy because they need they need help against Brazil. If Brazil decides to attack now, they're gone. Yeah, look at this. Okay, Colombia conquered Chile. Well, that's still a little bit, but they're pretty much done. Ooh, Brazil declared war on Chile. Well, everyone getting up on Chile. They have only just one little bit. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, so it's Brazil versus the Alliance. So 1,200 versus 2,400. Then again, Colombia has a lot of a lot of uh, space to to grow now. If, but if Brazil doesn't take the shot now, they could be in trouble in the future, to be honest. Two seconds later. The, the war is going to happen. Brazil versus the Alliance. So how, ma how many do we have? So the Alliance has 1,600 people, 1,000 soldiers. And oof, Brazil has 1,800 soldiers. So this will not be good. But at the same time, Colombia now has stealth bombers. Look at this. 1,000 health. A thousand damage. Not bad. They also have tanks. Venezuela has hopefully tanks as well. They don't have tanks. Guyana has tanks, I think. At least I've seen them. But Brazil has also everything. I think they don't have stealth bombers actually. So actually Colombia does have a chance because of the stealth bombers. They're OP as fuck. So maybe. So maybe they do have a chance. Oh look at these guns though. Famous. Oh this is fucking cool. Look at that. This guy's a, a minigun. Okay, look, look, okay, the, the stealth bombers are going in. Brazil. Oh, they're losing population fast. Look at this. Guyana is being torched. There's so many things happening at the same time. I can't even see everything. But Guyana is pretty much over now. 54 people. But look at this. The, oh, the South America is currently completely in flames now. Guyana, 39 people. Venezuela is holding strong with 200. And Brazil... 1,500. Who's, who's this? Who's conquering here? There's only children here. Strange. Colombia with... Oh, they're going down as well. Really fast. Look, look, look at this squadron. Just shooting down this car. Oh, they're, they're dead. They're all dead. I think, I think Colombia is done. Brazil lost a lot of people as well, though. What are those stealth bombers doing? This guy killed zero. Useless. Wow, this is fucking cool, though. Brazil conquered the Chile part and Colombia has still 500 people. Guyana is still holding on with 20 people, but look at this squadron here. There's a guy with the, a bow. Yeah, a wooden bow. <laughs> Going into a modern warfare. Oh, the, did you see that the, the stealth bomber died? 17 people in Guyana. 300 in Venezuela still. So many soldiers. Look at this giant one. Does he have a minigun? What's, what's this? Oh, he's, he has a battle annihilator. Looks like a... AK-47, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Yeah, Guyana was destroyed. Whoa, look at this guy. With the minigun. Killed zero people. Useless. But the miniguns look awesome, though. Okay, we're down to the last three. Brazil, Colombia, and Venezuela. But I think, well, it's pretty obvious. And unfortunately, <laughs> this was already called for in the start of the video. I mean, Brazil started off with a lot of people. Oh, wow. Did you see this? Colombia actually conquered half of Brazil. But they're gonna lose it, probably. Yeah, they, they are. I think. Yeah, they are, they are. They lost it. But still, they, they, they're trying. They, they're really trying. The tanks are really, really strong, though. This one killed 14. Colombia is holding on. Look at this. Oh, honestly, this mod is so fucking cool. I mean, look at that. Uh, and, and if you don't know, actually, this mod is called Modern Box. Uh, it was made by Tuxigo and it just adds everything. I mean, adds tanks and Humvees and um, F-22s. Look at this shit. It was fucking cool. I'm really surprised how, how well Colombia and Venezuela are holding on. I mean, 1,700 people. They were like 2,800 or something. And they're still, still here. It's amazing. Oh, what's this? It's a new vehicle. I've never seen this one before. 100 damage, 200 health. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, wait, this is from Half-Life. <laughs> yeah, this is from Half-Life, right? What the fuck? <laughs> Let me see. What's he called? The gunship. 
It's from Half-Life, I think. Has this been here the whole time? Oh, look at this. Colombia conquering half of Brazil. They did it. What the fuck? Brazil is being conquered. Look look at the amount of people they they brought in. I, th I think I think Colombia is winning just based on on technology. Because they have less population. So Brazil has 400 army. Colombia has 50. And Venezuela has 40. And they're still... Look, look at... They're just still putting up a really, really good fight. This tank killed 15. This one killed 8. It's amazing. Oh shit. Brazil is striking back. This war is going on for way longer than I expected. Oh. So this whole area was destroyed. There's no more houses here. Like the whole village is gone. So technically, Venezuela and Colombia have space to spread out. I think Colombia is gone. They're being conquered now. Look, Colombia is gone. So we only have Venezuela. I think this will be fast though. Venezuela conquered the bits of where Colombia used to be, but there's not going to be any chance. So I'm just going to fast forward, I think. I mean, Colombia was the powerhouse with tanks and shit. Look at the amount of tanks that Brazil has now. Yeah, they're being conquered already, I think. 200 people. Brazil has 2,500. They had 2,800 when the war began, I think. Yep, they're being conquered now. And it's done. I guess Brazil is the winner. Is that fair? I mean, not really. At the same time, it's kind of realistic, I suppose. I mean, Brazil has the highest population in South America. Probably the strongest military. So, I would say it makes sense. So, yeah. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this and let me know in the comments which one, uh, which country or continent you would like to see next. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.